out with the old. And in with the new. Hey gang, so after a while, this time to upgrade, modify, and it was time for my sign kit um, to get more organized than those little tackle boxes. Get everything consolidated in one spot. So that's when I came up with the idea of putting everything in one container like this. Now this can swing open. And all my drawers are inside. Of course you have to decorate everything, so I did this on all three sides. You know, it looks like uh, some whacked out magician's box or something like that with stained glass in the middle. <laughs> you know, that's what happens when you just start making something and creating it. You never know what it's going to turn out to become. So, anyway, um, I also got my one of a kind Steve Kafka panel from Steve Kafka. Poster signed by Steve Kafka. That I did. Get that out of there. And Steve Kafka official shirt to represent. Team Kafka. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so just to go over the, uh, let's go over this little guy. Spray painted the outside, and then um, hand brushed everything else. This was done with the uh, smaller Kafka brushes. This was done with a lettering brush. And then um, these, all this was done with a liner, a number 10 liner with graduating process blue and ivory. And then the inside stained glass business that was done with uh, rattle cans spraying from the middle out. I don't have a video of that. And then just taking plastic, you know, the game. And then after that was done, come back with the airbrush and do a black shadow and then a white highlight so that's in case anybody's actually interested in how that was done front door is carbon fiber so you can see that in different angles as the light hits it in different angles carbon fiber leftover wrap stuff vehicle wrap stuff and then obviously realistic blue flame inside of a pinstripes type frame flame not frame okay then um, inside first drawer miscellaneous of sundries pencils stabilos and stablers miscellaneous clips and you know pounce wheels compass things like that knives blades cutters charcoal chalk sticks little scissors tape you know the whole thing and I have one section here for eight and a half by eleven sheets of paper for making quick little patterns things like that and then the uh, Kafka grid and the next that is the uh, one heck of a collection that is a Kafka extravaganza right there that's the f every single one of those is a Kafka brush starting with the lettering quills liners long liners and then these are the um, scrollers that go right into pinstripe brushes into these little detail brushes these are so sweet oh my goodness so set for life look at that and then uh, these are all for my leftover brushes and fitches flats a big daddy there for big big work 
this is a this little detail brush I just used as a like for um, touching up awnings and just touch up like general touch up then um, the palleting station with the cups little cup holder I made this cup holder myself because I had scrap of two inch um, electrical conduit plastic conduit and you can get these through Kafka for about 12 bucks or so plus shipping and I highly recommend it I do not recommend trying to make your own because it is definitely not worth it <laughs> and then um, this cutaway right here is for palleting so I can uh, so I got this free to be able to pallet sit and pallet next drawer is full of miscellaneous things gold leaf items a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Got my Bueller, Bugler striper, little pallet, uh, larger rolls of tape, things like that. I'm not sure what, how that's going to go yet. This is the uh, paint drawer. Still a little sticky because the paint still is tacky. So um, paint drawer, two ounce bottles. You guys know the story. You know how this goes. And then behind there is gold leaf gold leaf supplies size um, all things gold leaf back there plenty of room for extra colors probably won't use them but you never know in the last one's the big drawer I made sure this fit cans of this size you know like thinners and stuff so you can drop them in there bottles squirt bottles things that are tall ish um, and then other other things that like this is kind of like more of like a catch-all storage and then paper towel and I'm trying to think of a way to my next thing is to try to figure out a way to hook up my paper towel on the side here temporarily you know like maybe with I was thinking maybe like a piece of aluminum tubing so the tape towel would go in there but I could clip it on but I could take it off and store it you know, so I can so I can store the paper towel down there for traveling, because the whole goal for this is to, you know, make it uh, completely can self-contained, close it up like that, and lift it up in the truck and take everything with me, um, so it won't go blown out of the truck. So that was one of the biggest reasons for that, and just the convenience of having everything right up in front of me instead of down on the ground like those tackle boxes are, which is actually and also all of these can be taken out laid out on a table if needed to be too like if you do a mural or something like that so they need to all be laid out for some reason I don't know why but at least that option is available and also I was thinking about having this place here for my mall stick to tuck away hanged on, hung on a nail or something they can close inside too just so I don't forget it when I go out so anyway that's that's the box as of 2018 um, sign kit wise and uh, yeah if you can if you can think of any way I a clever way of being able to just clip this on somehow uh, the walls are not very thin I mean actually this whole thing's made out of eighth inch material eighth inch veneer like door skin reason why is I wanted it to be very light so I could just lift the whole thing into my truck I've made them before out of half inch MDO and sometimes three quarters by the time you get everything in there the thing's so heavy you have to take all the drawers out like a dresser to get in the back of your truck with this thing I can I can just lift this whole thing right up into the truck it makes it nice and convenient I know you're probably thinking handles huh to get it up on the truck might be a good idea because um, although this is kind of a cool little decoration it's not going to be like this for very long because I'm th probably the messiest person as far as paint goes and this thing's going to be completely covered with paint I did clear coat it so if I did get paint on it I could probably wipe it off but you know how it goes 
Anyway, I just wanted to share this with you guys as maybe just for fun and maybe inspiration if anybody else has um, a desire to make one of these things um, for themselves. You know, just basically you can kind of see what's going on. It's just uh, pieces of pieces of uh, eighth inch uh, material, plywood basically, a very thin plywood, and it's all glued together. No, no, you know, I just tape it and glue, glue it and tape it, and let that dry, and then several coats of paint. Probably the paint's holding it all together. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, little sign kit presentation and hope you guys have a whole lot of fun doing this art form. Take care. See you soon.